All right, wow, what's that sound? It's the sound of music. Well, here in the Music City Nashville, getting ready for the Music City Open. Honky Tonk, baby. Uh, presented by Lone Star Disc. I'm here with two of my good friends, Chris and Tano. Aylin Gosh is the goose man. A little bit housemates. of an overstatement. Okay, well, <laughs> you guys are good friends to me, even if it's even if it's not reciprocated. Uh, well, here in Nashville, they've they've changed the course a bunch. Apparently, I haven't looked at the caddy books. I don't know what we're about to uh, partake, but let's get into it right now. You got hole one. Oh God! See, that, that's perfect. <laughs> All right, here we are on hole one at Music City. I feel like 308 feet. <laughs> how is how is the absence of Brody somehow like the sanity that well that was <laughs> <laughs> Brody's level of? That's crazy. So, um, kind of a interesting par three here. I think that most players are throwing this little flex shot right right here, yep. little le left to right action. Mm -hmm. Some players are going to be throwing a nice uh, simple forehand, yep. shipping up to the side, mm -hmm. but basically just get up there for a putt on yep. the first hole. Mm -hmm. Don't, uh, <laughs> yeah, don't do anything crazy, so. Like dance on the tee box? Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Right, okay, okay. Oh, looks like my. a nice shot, Goss. Uh -oh. Let out the call, we just drove four hours from Jonesboro. Well done. <laughs> Hmm. Should have taken two naps, buddy. Needed two. Everyone wants to see this man. What? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a, I've been driving for a couple hours kind of shot right there. Yep. Tool's impossible. Indeed. Guys, I feel like we could throw mid on this hole. Yep. yep. Try this nebula out. Shout out to Ben Calloway Nebula, you know? Pretty All similar. Right, well, pretty pretty similar. We'll move on. I don't think I love a tight technical short hole for a hole one. It's a good hole, but as a hole one, not my favorite. I don't know. What do you guys think? Also, what do you guys think of hole one last weekend at Jonesboro being like a super tough hole? You guys like that for hole one? Now that you've seen the tournament, I'd like to know the feedback on that. Whoa. Cut, 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 cut. Hole two is the same as last year. 375 feet downhill. They cleaned up a lot of the stuff under the big tree. Yeah, it looks so like. Nice. So last year, if you left it inside and hit the big tree, you dropped down and had absolutely nothing. Um, so it's actually kind of a pretty technical forehand where you can't go in too late or too early. It has to be kind of like a perfect stall forehand hyzer. This is a good hole before. I'm glad they kept this one kind of the same. Yep. Yeah. It's very similar. Looks so nice now, too. That's so inside. Honestly, so far I've been very impressed with how everything looks. Yeah. Put a lot of emphasis into that. Also, another one for you guys. Nice long tee pad. Such very a long, long tee pad, actually. With the follow through zone as well. So they're just like, oh wait, you guys don't want to fall off a cliff at the end. <laughs> You've got so much room to work with. Love it. Hmm. Come back. Backside? Yeah, I think it's OB. Yeah. Yeah, OB right all the way too, right? Yep. Yeah. Especially when it gets windy, this hole actually gets very difficult. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a big forehand too, I feel like. It, it's sneaky, you to, sneaky You have big. to go so high to where it kind of takes off some of the distance. Yeah. You need to push straight though. That's the key. You got to push straight away. And then it stalls to the right. Two inside? Yeah, just a touch. Could get lucky. Yeah, it's just, it's got to be so flat out of the right. hand, it feels like, yeah. you know? It's like push like it's got to be flat like... and then stall down. I'll try that too, actually. That's nasty, Wow, this. gosh. It's really good. Yeah, th this hole looks so good now. And this tree is like straight out of a science, like a horror film. Yeah. Isn't it? Oh, boy. <sighs> You almost fall over there? <laughs> this is actually really thick though too. So, oh my gosh. The OB is about 15 feet into the woods. So people are gonna be like, OB. barely, like if you're OB, you take it. So you're in the stuff and you're OB stroke. Double punished. Double punished. You really don't wanna go OB on this hole. 
This will be so sneaky close over here too. Yeah. Like if you yeah. catch any of this, you could just kick straight. Right. And this is kind of what we're talking about. Like if you look back, there's a big gap here for the forehand, but it's like at an angle. So you have to get it to like get to the spot and then just stall through there to get to the basket. So it's not, it's not as straightforward as it looks. Right. I wonder, how, I wonder what the percentage of, of forehands up that left side versus backhands up the middle will be, well up the right side will be. It's almost like a flex forehand off the tee. Like a high, like force oh, over, yeah. really stable disc. Right. Kind of like For that thing we've dominant. been talking about with Players. backhands, where you throw the ante to like make it a single angle hyzer. Right. Oh, yeah. When it comes in, that's like what this hole is for a forehand. You like throw the ante with the stable out wide. Yeah. So and it can then hyzer in through the gap. Yeah. That's what I was trying to do with the new OS. I'll try to stay yeah. stable Just tomorrow. Stay too straight. Give us a piece of your mind. I have no, no, you don't want that. <laughs> I don't even want that. Take it all. <laughs> all right, we got a brand new hole here. They've combined two holes from last year's layout and they made a sick looking pole for 769 feet. Looks like we've got kind of a snaking dog leg right and then dog leg left fairway. It looks like it's going to be kind of a short layup and then an aggressive shot. Into really... the green. I love this. I think last year, this, the pole three that we're going to be throwing the basket into, or throwing into the basket, it's one of those pole threes where we kind of always talk about. You say this a lot, Yon. Yeah, exactly. I was about to say this. Go for it. Yeah, you got it. Um, it that part three felt like an upshot. So there's mm -hmm. so many times where they'll design these holes where they're, they're cool shots. You know, right. they're, they're, they're fun, technical shots, but it's an upshot. And if they could just like make the hole 700 feet, add a routine tee shot to get to a place where that is an upshot, right. it makes it into a great par four instead of kind of like a mid par three. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Yeah, totally. Look at that. All all the way from, our good, our good all friends the way from, from Finland. Good, <laughs> hey, good, good's a stretch. Okay. Yeah, that's true. Our bad friends from Finland. <laughs> the enemy. <laughs> we won the war, baby. We, we won the war. Okay. We won the war. <laughs> USA. <laughs> throw the layup and then throw the big boy. Yeah. Big boy. I mean, technically, Aaron, you know, we are in the South right now, so like the South did lose. So if you say we lost, like that's kind of the thing, but that's also kind of racist. Yo, that's not us, we're from I, Colorado. I think that you can I'm say we won or we lost it because it was America. No, no, no. Am I right? No, we don't, we don't, you don't want to like uh, accept that part of the thing though, right? You don't accept loss. Huh? No, no, you don't accept loss, but you don't, you look, it's um. Yeah, even if we lost, we didn't. <laughs> No, it's like a disown. It's like we disown that part of America. We disown oh, the that, loss. We, we disown that thought process, right? Yeah. I think, right? Yeah. I'm just saying it's a civil war. We, so America had to lose. We disown the thought of losing. <laughs> but hey, man, I'm sure it stimulated the economy. So in that case, both Ooh. sides won. All right, let me grab a layup okay. here. Yeah, yeah. We'll sneak in now. Just so I, you guys can see the other way of laying up, that's the exact same way that Goose did. <laughs> just slightly better. Yep, perfect. Right into the trees. Right yep. into the trees. Wherever you want to be. So, what distance did you say it was to lay up? I don't know. You Less said 260. You said 260. Whoa, dude, this is a family <laughs> friendly sexy. PG channel. <laughs> you said 260, and then I threw 260, and I was like 80 feet short yeah, of the. Yeah, I know. I was going to say I didn't tell you that. <laughs> yeah. I kind of wish they had the monkeys on the on the uh, hole sign, to be honest. But. See, I can't even throw out the out of bounds with a max yeah, distance track. I, know, I was about to say. <laughs> I feel like we've had hole signs before though where they have they have like distance multiples, right? Right, they, they'll tell you like how far it's, it is to certain things, yeah. So I wonder why it's... Well, that was not. a good line. I think you're still OB. Way short. Like I don't even think that's, yeah, a playable area. <sighs> yeah. No, I think it's going to be a layup. It's got to be a layup. I'm going to try a slightly more aggressive play, but not like... That might be safe, boys. That's... Might have got it. Terrifying. Couldn't Probably quite not. see it. Is that a nuke full power layout? Yeah, kind of nuke Kaiser. Probably throw three. One more. Oh, look at this. A brand new nuke, nuke OS in my bag because I threw my other nuke OS straight into the pond. <laughs> I just so you guys not know. Not that anybody saw that happen. The the skip shot on uh, on the par five at Jonesboro. I don't know what you're talking. Not the ideal play. I don't know what you're talking. Not about. the ideal play. Write that down in the notes for practice round next year. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about, Goose. <laughs> Listen, man, I stand by my decisions. <laughs> Did they walk? I don't stand by the execution, I stand by the decision. <laughs> right. 
most of what he says, people don't want to hear anyway. It's a great, it's a great point. I think it's 400 saves the, to the It tree. saves the editor time from having to cut out what he says, you know? <laughs> you say hey. 400 to the tree? Yeah, and I think about 430 to the Is basket. that an Ezra measure, like the layup? So it's actually like 550 yeah, to the yeah, tree? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. No, I actually give at, uh, like reasonable information. Okay, you know? yeah, that makes sense. Because we both threw over 260. Yeah. And look, look how close we are to the out But look bounds. at this. Spin left real quick. I don't know, that looks like look about a foot. Look how we'll pass the OB. See? <laughs> Technically, the so OB really is it's like, like 10 one feet away. foot to the OB. Oh, exactly. Oh my gosh. All right. I stand by my decision. <laughs> Goss 550, Raptor. Jeez. Bro. Way short. Oh, not bad in the circle. I don't know. That's pretty bad. That's the only disc Ezra ever throws anymore. I love that disc. <laughs> It wasn't a good shot. Oh, you know what? It's not. That's the thing. It's a great shot. Trash shot. Decent result. Good day. Best disc ever. Best driver. <laughs> Mr. DGA. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, what a shot. That's how you play the hole, boys. You throw your zone GT into the woods. Yeah. Throw it out here with a shot no, that no one saw, yep. and then park it. <laughs> Perfect. Is this where your forehand off the? Is that your nuke forehand, Goss? Yeah, I think it's OB up there. Oh, okay. What yeah. about a four, what about a forehand from here? Is that my my forehand, nuke OS? Yeah, I'll throw this shot. I still can't see yes, the basket. Sir. I feel like this is going to be the play. It yeah. shapes really well for like a like a big forehand right. tee shot. Yeah, a nuke big, OS or like a wrapper. A nuke, nuke OS or wrapper. Yeah, like if you can full. just throw a nuke like 255. Can you guys see the basket? No, nope, I still haven't seen the yeah. basket. See the basket when this shot goes in. Hit in the stake. Downs. Oh. Huh. I can see the whiskers. So oh, I'm assuming the basket's there. I got some really good distance on this tee shot. Should have a pretty easy approach. Too bad I'm 75 feet short of the uh, in downs. <laughs> it's going to be a layup. A lot of people putting from this, like circle's edge, yeah. 40 feet. For sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. Especially with the low ceiling. Yeah. Uh, this is a sick green, though, with the rock Super formations. Super cool green. Yeah. yeah. It is a cool green. Mm. Mm. Okay. Jeez. There you go, Goss. Yeah, jam that. Let's go, Aaron. Jam, jam that, AA Aaron. Why doesn't America trill that letter? Every other. Roll their R's? Yeah. Like it's Spanish. probably because there's people in South Dakota that are just bad at it. Wow. <laughs> what I love most about this hole is the road noise, so I don't have to hear the stupidity you guys are talking about. What? <laughs> Jeez. Golly. This is good. Okay, great. Next hole. All right, we're here at hole four. Um, this is um, a different tee pad than we've done in the past. So um, I like the old hole quite a bit because you had to hit this tight gap off the tee, and then you played out to the field and then back around to the back side of the screen. Um, still the same green, it looks like, but yeah, just a little different angle to approach it. So Interesting. Just kind of mixing things up. Looks like it's going to be a forehand off the tee for most players. Try to just get up there in position to attack, but my guess is Ezra at least will try a roller. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Why not was that, not why me. Was that funny? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. This is... <clears throat> I want to go home. And there is OB long, which I might have found. Hmm. Did you? I don't know. Is there no, I don't think so. There is OB long. That long grass. But you want to be near it, like, I think, to have a better angle. Right. So, you so want to if you out. want to be near it, you might as well just throw it in it, because then you're guaranteed to take your meter off, and that's, that's near. That is exactly. close to possible. Exactly. A little more right, hmm. no clue if that's good. I feel like Lolo is the wall's play on this hole. <laughs> I, think I, you should I, throw, I think you should throw backhand driver straight into the first tree on the right. Roll the so, clip, roll so the clip. So much help. Thanks, guys. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely the play. I'm going to throw a roll anyway, just because. I knew you would. That's Probably because it's the funnest shot in the whole game. Do what you want, man. Free will. So no, I can't throw it just to prove to you that I do have free will, but <laughs> wow. if I was a puppet that wanted wow. to do that anyway, then you never know. You can never know if you actually have free will, because you don't know, right? Yeah, yeah. No, this, I hear you. This, right, Silas? This tee shot symbolizes a glass of water on the floor at Texas Roadhouse. <laughs> I'm doing that next time. I'm pulling it out next time. 
Get in the bucket. Oh, you mean it's the absolute perfect shot? <laughs> if only we could see it. I'm, I'm straight over. Straight into the OB. I didn't turn it over. At but all. Uh, Tristan's play. It's probably a full man. Safe. There's oh, there's no, OB. It's definitely OB. I just oh I my. thought this goal was supposed to throw to Ants and spectators, you know. Oh, yeah, At least to we, underage kids. Yeah, honestly, definitely. Also, it's kind of short. <laughs> oh my He's lord. Kind of short. <laughs> nice. Dude. Oh, oh. It's gonna be a oh. Up and down. great shot! I, the last one definitely was. I don't. I think that's. Is that good. gonna roll? How do you even get it down? Yeah, that was good. Yeah, it's got to be super vertical. Yes. Honestly, no. it could be a forehand roller. It could. Uh, it no, could. Let, let me show you vertical. <laughs> he got that down so fast. That was hey, wild. those two wow. things. Those two things are the same color. That was good angle. It took the FPO basket out, though. It looks like. They had an FPO tee pad down there, right? Yep. I think that's the change they made. So they, I think they changed the green, too. That Maybe. makes this quite a bit easier. A little long? Just, yeah. It's... Yeah, just backside long. Wow. Guys, he's a thief. That's in. Is it, so is that our basket? No Ooh. idea. I don't know. I shot Goose. Holy picturesque boy. This is so much better than last year. Yeah. It's like, this. you can actually like, you're obstructed, but you've got putts you can make. It's it's really nice. Oh. Someone could make. Oh. That didn't even stay in. Sheesh. Hole five. Same hole as last year, except they put in this like green thing up there. There's still a line, it's not a Mando, so you can throw over the top. I don't really know if anyone's going to be going low more. They should right. do the thing like the Maple Hill, where they just have everyone, you know, there cheering right, and then just like throw some throws, smack, and then they go, number seven, yeah. number seven, <laughs> sign the board, sign oh, the and board. And then there's a ladder you climb up and <laughs> sign it. You think I'm good to throw? Are they out of the way? I'll just I go think you four. should try to hit them. All right, perfect. Nice. Yeah. Definitely still the shot. It's isn't definitely it? still the shot. It's nice. weird because you wouldn't really hit that board if you were going up there before. It's like if you hit the board, it'll probably hit the trees. It's gonna hit the trees. Kind yeah. of. It just makes the gap commitment smaller. <laughs> yeah, this but. this intimidates me for sure. Wait till you get up a little closer. You're like mid run up and you're looking at it. It like gets smaller as you oh. run up. <laughs> yeah, I believe it. Oh, I gotta throw an Anheuser. And the angle is from your hand, not your eyesight. You That's do the definitely. Keys. It definitely is an Anheuser. This is the Anheuser, yeah. I think. Oh, easy. I just so throwing so nose up. It just up. ballooned up. <laughs> it is, <laughs> this, this is in Goss's way. Is that the fairway? I think so. <laughs> I thought the fairway was above the green. That's the left. Not a play. Oh, wow. Shot. Fair enough. I didn't see that play at all. It's crazy. I, I think they should Mando that off, honestly. They it should. should, be Mando <laughs> should over top. It should be Mando up. <laughs> Holy hype. Yeah, that, that one's going to stall back. That might be a layup. I don't see it. There it is. <clears throat> layup? Oh. This is such of a wild Guys, decision. comment below which is further, Fish's Drive or Ezra's? <laughs> <laughs> I, I am shocked that this is a... That's insane. I'm shocked they did this. Oh, hey, guys. What do you guys think of this? Well, well, well. Really? Nah. <laughs> Is it definitely low? Yeah, yeah. And it might be low. Crazy, crazy addition to this hole. <laughs> Can't, I don't know, I wonder what the thought process was. So I think we've decided that probably laying up short of the gap is gonna be the main play. Um, the other shots are just a little too tricky. Yeah. And this keeps birdie in play for the pretty much the entirety of the hole. So like, they're, they're kind of simple shots, which are like a simple layup to here, simple little hyzer up to the basket, give yourself a putt, it's kind of what you're looking for, and makes it kind of more of a bonus birdie. Yeah. But um, I like the thought process, making it a two shot hole. I just wish that they would make this shot harder. So like, right. harder tee shot to get to this spot before having to throw this up shot to the basket. I feel like laying up too is probably the best way to lessen the chance of getting a bogey. Right. Which is what, 
The problem with going over top now is if you hit that board, it's a disaster of a hole. Yeah. It's like it could ruin your round potentially. Or if you make it and stall out and you end up in these trees, then you can easily get a bogey or even a double and that's just, it's not worth it. And if you throw it perfectly, you're right. not guaranteed birdie right. too. You still have to execute yeah. a shot. So I, the risk reward those is just probably not there. There's really something to be said about keeping the opportunity for body alive as long as possible. And this yeah. tee shot to lay up is and, yeah, pretty not, routine. And the second shot, like Elon's saying, you kind of have to just hopefully get past the trees and then you have a putt. You, you can't really bogey from here. Yeah. Right. I don't understand why they would put that wall there. Cause I, I personally love it when you have uh, chances to be aggressive and throw like a hero shot over top of these trees. I thought, for, like from the fans' perspective, I thought that would be really cool to where people can see people throwing these massive shots over top of the trees and having an easier approach. So I'm kind of questioning the decision on that one, but maybe there's some good reasoning. I just don't, I just don't know about it. I think I'm about 380 here. A little long. All right. Definitely want to come in front of that. I think that's a better play. Because yeah. I'll have a putt from there. Yeah. As Brad would say, big T. Big T. Double T. Double T. Um, but yeah, this is where the over the top lands. In this wind, it's still close to the tree line. But you guys had fairway driver in? Yes, yes. Yeah. yes. Instead of zone, yeah. I guess. It is nice to be this far. That's for sure. Definitely still doable, especially if you throw it in the basket. Good, be like nose that down. That might be long OB. Right. Two shots. The fact that they have like a fairway kind of cut in the grass is such a nice little touch. Doesn't take much, but it adds such an aesthetic to it. Totally agree. Make that putt. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. I say par from the forehand roller. Piece of cake. All right, brand new hole. Looks like a breadstick. I could eat. 600 and 720 feet, hole six. Straight stick. down, downhill the whole way. <laughs> OB everywhere. I haven't seen the hole, so let's just let's just give it a rip. I wonder how impaled the distance is. It's only probably not. It's only that. 700. I was thinking almost you could almost mid off the tee. I was yeah. thinking forehand. Yeah, I was put it over forehand too. You had a bounce. Something something that. straight that doesn't really. Yeah, but I like the forehand too. You can kind of flex it probably out the gap. Right. Uh, so bad. A little turned over. Yep. Not hmm. ideal. I feel like it's got to be a forehand, honestly. It's a good shape for the airspace is a forehand. Yeah. I'll throw one more back here. These tee pads are very long. I'm so used to stalling just behind the tee box. Yeah. But these are so big. I'm stalling. Yeah, you almost so have nice. to find your spot. You, right. you do, but it's so nice to have that option. All right, Goose, you want to throw a forehand? Let's try this shot. Yeah, it's a good shape, Goss. Yeah, I think that's the that's, that's the play, man. It, it, it flies into the into the airspace <laughs> instead of into the trees. Yep. Perfect. What about roller? How do you get it down? Oh, I can get it down. You can. Yeah. Okay. I struggle with gaps like that. Get a roller. Well, should I try one? You should always I think try I one. It. What? People love seeing the roller. You roller. Really? Great play. Wow. Shapes the hole so well. It gets it left into wow. the gap. Exactly. It slides and then fades left, it in. And then finishes out right. Spins out. Yeah, subtle cut fairway. Good. It's just an easy play. It's all when I'm 50 roller. years old, I mean, I'm a Masters player, I'm going to be oh, disgusted. You're going to be the, <laughs> you're gonna be the nastiest Brad Hammond. It's going to be uh, sweet, ever. dude. He should be, he should be watching out already. Right. You should change your thing from it's always a passion to it's always a roller. Maybe I will. My passion did just go out of bounds, and my roller was perfect, so. <laughs> There's a little cutout right here. So if you can get your forehand past that, there's a little bit more landing area. So you're safe over here off to the right a little bit more. So you want to be just, passion. just past Never this. doubt, Alan. It's always a passion. <laughs> yes, it is always a passion. Straight through the thickest bramble bush you've ever seen in your life. Through the thick of it. This hole's not long. I feel like, yeah, I feel like throwing super oval stable forehand chop Annie, or even Tristan just said like throw a puddle maybe. Right. Not a bad play. Like, yeah, you can play the hole backwards, you know? I'm just throw the same I'm shot just twice. The same shot twice, yeah. And still be 700 feet short. Yeah, you might need to throw a little more disc than that. Wow, I might. Nah, that one looks good. Should skip too. Wow, this is smashed. Jeez, that thing is stable. Nice.
Perfect, just so people know that we tapped out. We're a whole seven here, same as last year, 375. I think most players are going to be playing a little flex forehand out to the left, try to fade it back at the end. A lot of players will go backhand up the middle, but um, there is OB on the right, so I definitely like the left play a little bit more just to stay safer. See, good, and then, and then boom! Boom. Wow, Goss. Was that a, ma a machete? A machete? Wow. Sorry. <laughs> oh, yep. yeah. Let's get. Oh, yeah. It's a putt. It's a putt. It's a putt. It's a putt. The sun is going down quick, boys. Quick, quick. I'm going to hypercane. Hmm. Oh. More like ah. hypercant. Oh, ho, ho. good one. Good Thank one. You. Hey, give yourself a look, make this, the putt. That's all there is to it. Step putt, jump putt, baldy baby. Birdie. Um, hole eight, same holes we've played the past few years. A couple options down the middle or big hyzer, which I think is the play right now. I'm very glad they kept this hole. I feel like Not this is one of the best. Not high enough at all. The best ones on the quals. It sucked. It's one of the best par fours we play all year. Yeah, fantastic. So, that was like half the height. Oh man, I'm a little Yankee today. I'm going to hmm. real quick. It's a Is that coming back? It's just so low again. Yeah. It's like the wind's almost just keeping it out. It's not like... Yeah, the wind's doing... It's not, it's not, what pushing I, it back. not exactly what I thought. Oh, it's a good shape if it were lower. That might be left woods. Nuke. Eyes on. Hey, you're trying to go in between those, right? Yep. Yeah, okay. You catch that, you're fine usually. Good shot. The straight play is scary to me, man, because if you throw it a little bit too high, it just goes straight left into the stuff. Yep. It's all such a specific angle. I but agree. it's so much better to be straight left in the stuff than it'll be early right. That's nice. Well thrown. I love the straight play because if you throw it perfect. <laughs> a little left side, but it kind of opens up this hyzer even more. You can throw it almost right over the gap. That's pretty good, right? A little left. Yeah. I'll throw one. Not from any I'd love, to see, I'd love to see it. Hmm. That catch trees? I don't know. It didn't sound like it, but as long as the wind isn't bad, you can kind of go over top of that tree that Tristan two four shots into. Yeah, right. kind of. <laughs> yep. I think it was five actually, but thanks. Yikes. That's a long ways for Captain's Raptor. Is it? Yeah. I feel like. Really? What did you throw from back though? Nuke OS. Oh, really? Okay. But I, I didn't throw very hard. I guess the nice thing about the Nuke OS is you can like make sure you throw it high enough too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's so wide. wide enough. Oh, it's perfect. It's too wide, Goss. No. Wait. It's perfect. Oh, that's good. It's fine. So it's a little. Oh, well, since now. my up the middle shot went five feet fuller than my high jaw, <laughs> it definitely must be the up the middle shot. Gotta be. Nice, Goss. Sweet. So happy we, we get to have good basses this week as opposed to last weekend. Yeah, these Man. are so good. So nice to just have something completely different so nobody will complain about it. I mean, that. the baskets last week didn't have these sick glasses on top. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, who is that? Actually, I was thinking about it. You look so smart with those on. <laughs> but you're still dumb. <laughs> Wall idiots. I was thinking about it. I didn't have any spit outs. So really? maybe these should be my favorite baskets. If they're nice to me, but then screw everyone else, like maybe I should like them, even though I think they're also awful baskets. It's a good point. If it's you know. perfect for your putt and not everyone else's, I don't know, the man. ideal basket for you. I don't know. Just saying. Two weeks in a row, there's going to be some backlash. The, yeah. the Facebook players group for the Pro Tool is going to I'm going to make a post. It's already <laughs> yeah, going it's all, off, man. It's crazy. This, this last week has been wild. But hole nine, kind of hope that they combined this hole with like the old hole 16 or whatever it was yeah. and made a sick par four over it'd the... It'd be a fun par four play be, across the, yeah, the valley. Yeah, that'd be sweet. But we're, we're going to old hole 17, so it's a sh kind of a short par three, right in line with... Tristan, who looks exactly like a basket. Wow. If I accidentally hit you because you look exactly like a basket, 
It was on accident. That's fine. If I do hit him, it's on purpose. <laughs> that was OB long, and there was like a side slope, blind shot, can't see anything. I'm gonna throw a four iron and we'll see what happens. It's over there. I think it's short. A little short. Looked in line. I think it's good. I got the yeah, thumbs up from Tristan's up. I'm gonna try to throw the same exact shot. Thanks, man. <laughs> A little right. Also got a thumbs nice. up. Nice. Oh, Look at this it. camel walk. Spielborg, back wow. at it again. Nice shot. Yeah, just I felt up. like it could have been a little short. A little short. Ezra's parked. I'm just a big flying guy, I guess. That's crazy now. I'm playing with these guys, and I, I don't know. I guess it's more. Well, it's because you uh, used that red disc instead of your green one. Oh, great catch. Great catch. Oh, oh great. Them. Terrible oh. catch. Oh, these baskets are terrible. Oh, it went in. Never mind, they're good. That, that's going to do it for nine holes here at uh, Music City. Overall, I like a lot of the changes. I think they've done a really good job with maintenance this season. This course is looking really, really yeah. good. Really good shape. I and it's one of the things, every time we come to this tournament, they change the course a little bit, and it's always been for the better. So I don't love hole one as the first hole, and I don't love... The change they made on that one par four and the wood plank. The wood plank. That's the main wood thing. Wood planks are real. Yeah. It just older than that. Yeah. I like I like I like They're the all good, yeah, variety. You just yeah, add some, a little bit to it. And anytime they add Paul fours and cut out Paul threes, yeah. that's almost always a good change. So I like they've done that. And it looks beautiful. They've done so much work out here just to make it look good. This is right. the first tournament that's just been like, wow, everything is exceptional so mm -hmm. far. Agreed. But uh, check out the back nine if we can get all nine holes in. We're going to try to post that sometime as well. Yeah, we're Thank kind, you guys of, for kind watching. of close on daylight. Yeah, sun is just not cooperating. I will sense the moon got in the way of that sun, man. It's just not the same. I know. It's, it really, like, it's, it's, it's almost just, like they switched out the sun. Yeah. Like, like when the moon went behind, they right. did, like the government went and did this whole they switch with it. the sun. Exactly. Yeah. And like, I mean, I just, it's crazy that that's where our tax logs are going. Right, I know. <laughs> not Wolf, but thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you follow these goons on Instagram and uh, YouTube as well. And we will see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.